Hello and welcome to today's video. Uh, today is not so much of an unboxing video, it's more a case of taking some new product out of its packing box and having a look in more detail because I won't be unboxing these ones to look at the figures inside, but you'll see in a minute. So this is a look at the Black Series Archive Collection, or as it says on the packing box, the Black Series Greatest Hits Assortment, which is quite cool. Um, thanks to In Demand Toys for getting this to us so quickly, I think they're appearing in America at the moment, but I think its release date is the 1st of January. But there's nothing on the box to say that, so uh, there's nothing to suggest that people couldn't just be putting on the shelves now. Right, I shall start opening these and you can look at the figures contained within. Okay, here we are on the Luke Skywalker of the Archive Collection. Now this one I think was the most controversial uh, because the face paint, when they showed the prototype at uh, MCM in London and the European conventions, did not look great. Looked uh, very uh, holiday specialist, I think, was the, the, the general feeling. But I'm pleased to say the final product looks uh, pretty good. The uh, photorealistic painting comes out, and I'll try and get a close-up of that later so you can see it there. I'm not going to compare this with the original because this is effectively a uh, different repaint, although the figure itself looks exactly the same. Uh, some would argue the reason I'm not doing it is because it's boxed upstairs and I can't get to it, but that's not the reason, I promise you. So let's have a look at the box here. It says Star Wars The Black Series. It says the archive collection on here. It's the new packaging. Luke Skywalker there. Nice piece of artwork there, although it looks a bit fuzzy there. I'm not sure if it looked the same originally, but it did. just didn't notice it. And then if I and the figure obviously in there with the new blister pack. Lightsaber, helmet blaster. There's the barcode for those of you looking for it. And then if I look on the back here we have the artwork looking pretty good. We have how it originally looked in its box and actually he was posed as you can see differently in the box with his helmet under his arm whereas this is very much a pack with it by his side. And it says this came out in 2013 and I remember buying this one. I've got the first day issue sticker on mine. There you go. And it says, Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker used the power of the Force and his piloting skills to destroy the Death Star, as we're very aware. So let's have a look at the figure. Now, like I said, I'm not going to unbox this because I've already got so many versions of this that uh, I'm really not justifying buying another one just to unbox. But if, as I pan in very close here, let's have a look. You can see that they've done a good job of the paint of the face which I think was everyone was very worried about. I might take some stills of this as well so you can see, but it does look really good. It does look a bit like the old joint there that I can see in there. I can see a, the neck brace. So it looks like an exact replica of the original figure rather than going for the new molding they do with the heads. Uh, so that's interesting. They are literally re repacking but repainting. The accessories look the same. Um, it's basically a great way of getting this figure if you've missed it already and obviously if you missed the original you had the chance to get the celebration Luke which I think is probably still the most expensive on the secondary market so this will certainly fill the gap for those people who really want just the figure and not the packaging so uh, well done Hasbro I think that's a good move by them just don't repack it again otherwise we'll know you're just trying to sell us the same thing many many times Okay, there you go. That's the end of this one. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe. We do videos every Wednesday and every Saturday guaranteed. And if something exciting happens, we do that in between. Until then, see you next time.